aluminum here for my top plate where I'm going to mount my throttle bodies. I've been doing some drilling on it, marking where I need to drill holes. And uh, I'm hoping I have enough left over that I can build a frame for the uh, burst panel on the intake. Because I have to put a burst panel on that intake. And then I also got in some uh, raw fuel rails. But unfortunately I ordered dash 8. I need dash 6. These things are way too big for what I need. So I'll be ordering some dash 6 for the fuel rails. But I'm going to go ahead and start working on get this plate to where it will fit on the blower with the throttle bodies. Alright, I got my piece set up in the mill. I'm going to start by drilling my 3 8 holes for the uh, blower, uh, where this will mount to the blower, and then I'll do the throttle body holes after that. Alright, my next step I'm going to do, i got to notch out the side of this just a little bit to clear the uh, throttle position sensor on those throttle bodies. I just need to go down a half an inch in, in about a hundred thousandths, so that's what I'm getting ready to do now. All right, guys, show you what I'm doing here. I'm kind of in the middle of this. Uh, it's pretty boring what I'm doing. It's just very, very, very time consuming. Uh, I calculated all my measurements out on a piece of paper here. I found uh, all the measurements on the top of the blower. And then I've been doing my own calculations for the throttle body. And measured up all my spacing. And after every time I drill and tap a hole, I set the throttle body on. And bring the quill of my mill down so I can make sure that I'm on the right track. I have been known on my projects to be off ten thousandths, a hundred thousandths, whatever, get my numbers messed up. So I'm being extra careful on this one because I've almost got every hole drilled and tapped. And then I can cut this thing out and start milling the bottom side, drill my butterfly holes out. But each time I drill the hole and then I immediately tap it. I start power tapping with this and then I finish hand tapping it. That way I know it's straight and it's where it needs to be. So far everything is turning out perfect. So I'm going to continue on. Alright, I got every hole cut out. These are 3 8 and then I countersunk the heads for Allen bolts. Would have tapped these quarter 20. I could have done a metric thread if I wanted to, but quarter inch seemed to fit just fine. So I went and did quarter inch and then I drilled the center point of each throttle body. So I can cut the, the center out for the throttle blade to go in, let the air in. So my next step, I gotta cut this off and that off, and then chuck it back up in the mill and clean the edges up on it. All right, I got the plate bolted on the blower just for mock-up. I have not cut my holes in there yet. Everything seems to fit good, clears good. All right, I got my blower snout and the drive assembly to bolt on the blower to run the uh, snout and of course a gasket so I can set that on now and start figuring up what size plate I need for the blower and get that ordered. My next step that I want to try and do on this is uh, get the throttle body to seal the factory to have an o-ring goes around that and I have an o-ring but I do not have a way to really cut it very good at least not the diameter that the o-ring is so what I'm going to attempt to do, I'm going to flip this over since the whole back of this has to have a pocket milled out anyways because the injectors will go right here and I have obviously no open area there, i got to mill all this out but maybe three-eighths of it leave a ridge around the edge where it will bolt to the blower uh, so what I think I'm going to do, I'll practice on the back side of this so I don't waste any metal because it's going to be milled out I got different size o-ring here. This is just straight uh, o-ring just uh, in bulk. It's like three different sizes here. I'm going to take a hole saw that I have that hopefully will fit within this diameter and then see if I can get one of those to work in it and seal this off. So that's what I'm going to do now is practice on that. Alright, there's my test piece on the back side of this. Like I said, this will all get milled out. so. No loss on that. Probably end up shortening the block up anyways. Uh, but you can see there I use that 4 inch hole saw. Came out pretty good. Uh, O-ring sits just a little above and you can press it down and make it go level with the top of the aluminum. So I'm going to flip it over and do it for good and hope it works just as good as this side. Alright, I got my O-ring grooves cut. Came out pretty good. I try to fit a piece in there. If anything, I might have cut it just a hair bit deep, which is no big deal because I could just skim the top of this off ten thousandths or so 
and that'd be plenty because I just need just a little bit of that o-ring sticking up and tighten that throttle body down and she'll be good so uh, next step is to start hogging out the underside all right I spent about four hours on this thing last night getting the holes drilled out get the o-ring grooves cut in it and then I hogged out the underside of it uh, it came out pretty good except I had one little fault right there my bit started falling down out of the chuck so I ground a little more out right there than I wanted to but it'll be fine no problems it's still it's a half inch thick there anyway so I had some room to play with uh, so I need to deburr this thing smooth out all around there it's all real rough still because I haven't had a chance to mess with it and then uh, I also noticed I need to skim about ten thousandths off the top of this to get the o-ring groove where I need to be. So I can do that pretty quick. And that's what I'm going to do next. And then I'll start working on deburring this thing and uh, getting it to its final measurements. Alright, here's how far I got on that plate. You can see I got the uh, o-ring sitting in there. I'm not going to put it in yet. Cut it off until uh, it's ready to actually be finally mounted. And this one here is out, so I skimmed this off ten thousandths. Now the gasket is just a little bit proud of the aluminum, so that should give me a good seal on my throttle body. Uh, there is where I notched for the throttle body, uh, uh, throttle position sensors, the black part of the throttle body. And then uh, went ahead and cleaned up the underside, took a carbide bit, and just lightly went over it real quick to get any of the sharp edges off of it. Possibility of the uh, some uh, uh, chips flying down that didn't quite get ripped off all the way so I just went over it lightly with a carbide bit and uh, radiused all these edges here and then cleaned the inside up in there smoothed it all out so this plate now is just ready for injectors so that's the next step on this and the next step on the build alright there you can see the top plate of the blower on uh, everything's clear and good Still got to get some more bolts for these throttle bodies. I'll round these corners a little bit right here to match up down there. But everything is looking pretty good. I'm real happy with it. I probably have about mm, 8 to 10 hours or so in that top plate so far. And I still got to drill for uh, injector holes. I think I'll mount my injector rails on there. Like I said, I ordered the wrong ones and they're coming in the mail already. And uh, I got my snout on there so I can figure up, start figuring up how I want to mount the blower on there. And then I'm also going to have to have a burst panel right here. I'm going to put an NHRA certified burst panel, the one that just blows out, not one of the spring kinds. So I'm going to end up cutting into this intake and putting a burst panel there. I'm going to put one of the smaller ones that make two different sizes. I'm going to go with the small one, so i got to make that. I have enough left over from this piece up here that I cut off to make that down there. So I'm going to proceed on with that. So I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do next. I'm probably going to start in on that burst panel. I still got to order a piece of metal for the bottom of the blower and get that set up as well. And then we should be on our way. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this update on the 60 Roots uh, LS build. Uh, I'm going to try and get a video out once a week of this. I'm going to try uh, with building a Studebaker and a bunch of other stuff I got going on. It's it's hard to do it, but I'm going to try my best to at least show, do one thing to this thing a week. Either burst panel or get the belt guard on it possibly next week. And I'm going to get this plate ordered. So depending on when I want to get this plate in, I might be able to even get that done next week. But uh, I'm going to try and get something up every week. And also please let me know in the comments, would you prefer to see this thing in a modern uh, muscle car? Like a G8, a Camaro, maybe even a Corvette? Or would you rather see this thing in something old like a Nova, like I said? I got a good lead on a G8 I could pick up. And uh, I'm also looking for a Nova. So I'm just curious what you guys think would be better to put this in. I know it would be easier to put it in a Nova. Because if I wanted to, I could run two sets of uh, fuel injectors. Run them up in the hat and the bottom. You can't run them just in the bottom with a normal roots blower. Because the rotors will seize. Because you got to have fuel up there cooling the rotors down. Uh, as it is, I think this blower is, I'm going to send it out and have the rotors checked to make sure the right clearance for gasoline because I used this on my alcohol car years ago. So uh, I'm going to send this off after I get everything mocked up and have them check make sure it can be used for gasoline. If not, I'll have them fix it to where it can be. 
but if uh, if I do a Nova, I could always run two sets of injectors because then I'll run like a Holly Dominator. But if I run put this thing in a G8, I can only run the top injectors, and it might be a royal pain to get it right if it ever could be right. So just let me know in the comments. And if you could, please hit the subscribe button. It would help me out a lot to hit a thousand subscribers. I could get back into the metrics of the YouTube to start making just a little bit of money on this. Right now it's all for free. I'm not going to make much anyways. But if I get up to a thousand subscribers, I could at least get a little bit of money every month for uh, showing you these builds that are costing me quite a bit of money as it is. So uh, anyways, thanks for watching. As always, please like and subscribe.